Hello, my name is Wade McCutcheon. I teach eighth grade math and algebra one at Keithville Middle School and welcome to our virtual back to school night. I'm going to share a presentation with you that is also available in a Canvas module called back to school. So I will narrate as we go through this. All right, so uh, the textbooks that we're using for Algebra 1, we use the Springboard Math uh, textbook, and for eighth grade, we use Illustrative Math. So the goals for this year, we're going to build on what they learned, what students learned in seventh grade math. Uh, the theme for all the, the eighth grade teachers is to certainly prepare your students for high school and beyond. Uh, and math specifically, we work on problem solving, critical thinking skills. Our goal certainly is to master math this year. Historically, as students that grow from approaching mastery and my algebra one students typically score mastery or advanced. So the theme of our classroom is we realize that we're gonna be trying a lot of new things and when the, we're learning, we're gonna make mistakes. So it's when we say, and the second thing is we're going to take our mistakes and we're going to inspect them and we're going to learn from them and ultimately we're going to correct them and then the respected part is we respect the effort uh, that you took that you sort of put yourself out there that you're willing to make the mistake um, if that's what it takes to make progress so making mistakes are a normal part of learning so growth mindset is sort of the theme of my class and we believe that we can learn from our mistakes, hard work, persistence. We're not going to give up, determined to do my best on everything that we do. We're going to reflect, so that's like the inspection on everything we do. We'll reflect, we'll look back at it, uh, what worked, what didn't work, what can be done better, things like that. I can overcome challenges uh, with effort. And the cumulative effect of all of this is I can train my brain. I can increase my brain capacity. All right, students do the work. My number one expectation is students try everything. As we already discussed, we are gonna make mistakes while we're learning. Everybody will make mistakes in the classroom. We're gonna learn from our mistakes. We will struggle. We will solve problems. There's more than one way to solve most problems. We're gonna explain, okay, I made a decision. I analyzed something, I made a decision. What was I thinking? What was my rationale? How can I justify or support the position that I that I took? This class requires more than anything else you to think and to solve problems. All right, so if a student is absent, they're responsible for making up missed work and assessments uh, within the allowable time frame. It's the student's responsibility to figure out what they missed. Now I post assignments to Canvas modules weekly, so but the student must initiate this. The grades for the class are broken down into several categories. The bulk of the grades come from classwork. So that's where we start out with bell ringers. So bell ringers support the lesson that we're doing for the day. It, it connects what they've done previously to today's lesson. Uh, we go over the homework, so we correct it. So again, that's that opportunity to inspect and correct. And then our lesson activities. We have homework almost every day graded for your completion, for your best effort. And then we have assessments. So we normally have weekly assessments and then we'll have unit assessments. Okay, supplies. To be prepared for class, you need a fully charged Chromebook. You either need a three ring binder or notebooks. You need line paper, graph paper, some dividers, pencils. I recommend and really want mechanical pencils and make sure you have extra lead and erasers. Mechanical pencils don't need to be sharpened. It's just much easier for us. Um, have highlighters in multiple colors, and colored pencils, uh, earbuds, in case we need to listen individually to some sort of a video, and then a scientific calculator. Okay, middle school has determined uh, some common procedures in all of our classrooms. Here they go. Um, all students must get their materials needed and out of their backpack at the start of class. Backpacks are placed in the front of the room. Students don't go to their backpacks during class. All technology must be in the backpack. 
you have your Chromebook out, but your big thing is their telephone. So their cell phone has to be in their backpack, it's placed away, purses, all that kind of stuff. We're getting all distractions away from us so that when we're in the class, we're just taking care of our business. Smart watches obviously can be worn, but during class, they're not there to sit and text on or whatever. Otherwise, they're going to be treat, treated just like any other, like a cell phone. Uh, the other thing, the only hoodie or pullover that can be worn is a KEMS hoodie. Uh, the hood has to be down all the times. So if you wear any other jacket, it has to be worn unzipped at all times so that we know that we're in school uniform. Um, so on the first slide, I put my contact information. So email is the easiest way to communicate because I can do that generally during the day. Uh, if we need to schedule a phone call, that's fine too. Um, we work hard and I'm hoping and expecting that we're gonna have a great year. If you have any questions, uh, please contact me. Thank you.